if I didn't get it before. This is our first day in Tunisia and we are visiting the Star Wars scene. This was a granary and the holes in the walls are to allow the cats access to the mice. I have no idea where we are, but this is a spectacular village on top of a hill. Yeah, it's about 40 degrees today, and the suggestion was we might walk up there. This cafe calls itself Bellevue. In truth, I think there is truth in advertising. This is inside Bellevue Cafe. It's about north of 45 degrees outside. This is where a Berber family or families live. Hard to say. But they made us some flatbread in the thing like a tandoor and gave us that with honey. We're heading towards Toza and the pilot described this as like Cappadocia, I guess. We're crossing the depression to Toza. It's a salt lake, but it's actually under the surface, a small artesian area. They should have called this place the Nullarbor Plain. We've stopped in the middle of the salt lake there's some salt evaporating. Nobody knows what the flag is. I'll talk. We're in Tuza, Tuza, and we're about to walk into the Medina. The bricks are handmade and sun dried for two years. Spectacular gates like this are fairly common. Goodness knows what this is. Those he's fiddling with are chilies and they're quite pleasant. These rocky things are called flowers of the desert. They seem to be everywhere. This is a mausoleum for children. It was built in the 7th century of the common era. Now, it's a place for circumcision. And the fellow offered given it a group of poles to do a job lot for free.
I think we're going into that mosque. That white thing is some sort of sundial. Yep. The biggest mosque in all Africa. The doors are quite incredible. They're hand carved, wood, and I think the candelabra is also wood. We've come to visit the carpet shop and the proprietor has his best Borat going but with a slightly Jewish accent. Our bus driver reversed park. Not bad. This is the port in Sousse. Taken from the fourth floor of the shopping centre. This is the sanctuary Tunisia where 20,000 children were sacrificed. This is a Punic necropolis. No more bars, but they haven't been doing it for some little while. So the bars were built during the reign of Hadrian and Antonin, 145 to 162 CE. <laughs> this is the amphitheatre at Carthage. As you can see, it's still in use. We're at a cathedral in Tunis, but that's a view down to the harbour. This is in Carthage. So for you. This cathedral was made for Louis the Ninth. Lots of tourist trap stuff. This is City Boo side. The blue serves two purposes. One is the colour is use, and secondly, it keeps away insects. I think this is a mausoleum for somebody. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. I don't know what this is. I thought it was. It's quite something. Inside the Rabat. Turns out that Rabat is just well, dust. It's a fortress. This is a view from one of the ramparts and that is obviously a cemetery.
this is the mausoleum of somebody or other. I'm guessing this is the stiff. Okay, the mystery is solved. It is Habib Buguba, the first president of the Republic of Tunisia, who served from 1957 to 1987. I think in the end they gave him the boot. This is the town of El Gemma. We walked through, uh, I'm not sure what you call them, but tunnels underneath. Uh, I guess that's where they kept the old gladiators. This is traditional costume. This is a dance and beautiful music. He's driving the wheel with his foot. This is inside the synagogue. This is the front of the hotel. Oh yeah. Walking down towards the bar. And he's walking to the dining room. This is the bar, I don't think it's open yet. Then you go outside and sit on that terrace in the afternoon. Very nice. 